here we are starting Unit 3, Motion and Stability. We're looking at forces and interaction. The duration of this unit is five weeks. This one is a long one because there's an awful lot involved in it. In our big ideas, we're looking about forces, balanced forces, unbalanced forces, and also talking about friction. Our essential questions, we want to know what is a force, what is a motion, and how can I make an object move? Quite a few essential questions for this unit. As always, take a look at your um, unit curriculum map. It will give you big ideas, essential questions, your objectives, and your tier one, two, and three vocabulary. For this unit, we will rely on your Harcourt Science textbook, Chapter 15, Forces in Motion. We want you to look at Lesson 1, What is Motion? Lesson 2, What are Forces? And don't do Lesson 3. You can also use Chapter 15 in your lab manual and your reading guide and ancillary materials. We've got a couple of documents here for you. This PDF, Forces in Motion, does give you an awful lot of ideas from Next Generation Science um, in looking at forces in motion for third grade. Force in Motion, again, another PDF and a website for you to look at. When you take a look at some of the resources for this unit, we've got several Discovery Ed videos. When you click on Discovery Ed, it's going to take you to a new tab um, with Discovery Ed, and it may ask you for login. Your login information as a user should be your 10-digit phone number, and if you've never logged into Discovery, the password would be Discovery. So then I want to go up to my browser and click on the back arrow and get back to my Moodle site. Again, more Discovery Ed videos. And then down here, we've got some PDF. These are the Harcourt Science Nonfiction Text Leveled Readers. These are available online and do as a whole class reading, or maybe put these on computers or iPads for your students to do small group reading. There's also a list of recommended books by a third grade teacher. This teacher asked his librarian to um, get these books for him through interlibrary loan, but you could also do it through the Worcester Public Library if you Hi, Kathy and Jeff here. This video will introduce you to Grade 3, Unit 3. This unit focuses on the Physical Property Standard 3-PS2-1, Plan and Conduct an Investigation to Provide Evidence of the Effects of Balanced and Unbalanced Forces on the motion of an object. Before we can talk about balanced and unbalanced forces, we're going to need to consider motion, which is a change in position. We're going to need to talk a little bit about distance, which is how far an object travels, and then we're going to need to talk about speed, or how fast an object moves in a certain period of time. We're also going to be considering force, which is a push or a pull, or gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls two objects towards each other. You can find forces in motion in Chapter 15 in your HSP textbook, and that's found on pages 594 to 615. Remember, we want you to plan with our 5E model. So for our Engage today, we're going to be looking at a short YouTube video about a tug of war. All right, let's take a look at the video. Kids versus teachers. Mrs. Hightower's class against all the teachers. So now, after looking at that video, I'd ask students what happened to the people when they pulled on the rope. What do you think caused them to remain standing, or to fall, or to move across the open field? Open up discourse with the students to start discussing what they see or observe during a tug of war. Our next E is explore. We're going to focus solely on the balanced and unbalanced forces in this activity. For this, students would investigate how balanced and unbalanced forces affect the motion of an object. Students will push gently with one finger while their partner pushes gently in the opposite direction. They observe what happens to the ball and consider what forces are, whether they're balanced or unbalanced. 
Then they push gently with one finger while their partner doesn't push and they observe what happens. Again, they consider whether the forces were balanced or unbalanced. I'd ask the students to think about a game of bowling as an example of balanced and unbalanced forces. So let's go back to that tug of war for a second. What happens if the forces are balanced in a tug of war? And what happens if they're unbalanced? What might be some causes for the forces to be unbalanced? Then I'd explain that not just in tug of war, but in many other instances, it's those unbalanced forces that cause a change in motion. For our next E, explain, students could read about the types of forces, including gravity and friction in their textbooks. There are also three leveled readers that can be found on the Moodle in the leveled reader folder that ex explains the phenomena that they observe during the Explore. The extent might be a two minute video on the topic from Discovery Ed. Check out our Moodle site for the link. And to evaluate their understanding, we could have the students make a foldable, uh, foldable book with the terms from the unit. They could write their definitions or draw and label diagrams. Great. All right. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll look, look for our next video for Unit 4. But in the meantime, make sure to remember, Science, Science Matters. matters.